The Rooster is a two-channel, all-valve preamp with EQ and distortion controls. Its distortion section is inspired from the Culture Vulture and is designed for a wide range of applications and can produce a large range of tones, harmonic distortion, and subtle dynamic control. The preamp is available to all mic, line, or DI input signals. The double triode input valve, ECC81, provides a smooth sounding gain stage after the balancing input transformer. The attitude section provides control over the amount of distortion inherently produced by the 5725 valve. This valve is also found in the Culture Vulture circuit. In this case, the distortion produced can be far more subtle, giving specs of 0.01% distortion when the switched attitude control is at position 1. The distortion increases drastically as the attitude control is progressively switched from position 1 to position max. Similarly to the culture vulture, the unit will tend to produce predominantly more second order harmonics when in triode mode and third order harmonics when in pentode mode. This provides a creative means of both tone and dynamic control over the input signal, as well as allowing the user to select how much and what kind of harmonics are present in the signal. The EQ section provides a simple yet powerful musical control over frequency content. The bass lift control gives a continuous control over the amount of bass using a unique very slope curve which peaks at 60 Hz. The mid-high lift control gives a bell type curve with a variable gain peaking at either 2.5 kHz or 4 kHz, or a very slope curve peaking at 12 kHz, all selected by the frequency select switch. The mid-cut control provides a bell type curve centered at 700 Hz with continuous control over the amount of cut. The bass cut switch control provides five positions with different cutting curves. The curves start off as high pass filters which get progressively higher in frequency and then turn into a shelving type curve that will also increase in frequency as the switch is advanced. These controls are intended to interact with the other EQ controls for a very flexible control over the entire frequency range. The LPF or low pass filter switch control will allow the high frequencies to be cut at a frequency suitable to stop harsh sounding harmonics from standing out when excessive distortion is used, smoothing the resulting sound. The output level control adjusts the signal going to the PCF80 output valve and the final signal is balanced by a solder custom made transformer. The level of the output signal is represented by the three LED display. Key features. All valve signal path, solder transformer balanced in and outs, Unique two-channel clean mic amps with attitude control. Option of two settings to select type of introduced distortion. Versatile EQ with very slope control of top and bass lift. 48 volt phantom power switchable to one or both. Phase invert switch on both channels. Mic line and DI input. Low pass filter. High pass filter. Low noise, high gain and high output level, and of course made in England. Here's a real-time demo so you could hear some of the sounds of the Rooster mic preamp. So what we have here is the Rooster by Thermionic Culture. It's basically a dual mic pre with a little bit of um, EQ options and then a little bit of the Culture Vulture distortion built into it, which you can see with these red attitude knobs. Um, basically, I am talking through a very flat condenser mic running into this mic pre. So we have our level over here, which you can see. And then there's a bass lift, which is kind of a boost. And you could hear, you know, the bass get a little bit fuller, which is kind of nice. We also have uh, a treble control that goes into three different positions. So you could have high, which I'm not sure what frequency that's at, 4K, and we got 2K which is just enough to get a little something going on if you want to. We also have a mid cut, which you could tell is just ripping out the mids. And we also have a bass cut. So right now, I'm not sure which direction we're going in because I'm not hearing this too well. And there's also uh, a bass cut in five modes. So you can hear them all in the different modes here as I go through them. 
check, check, check. Here we go. Number five, number four, number three, number two, number one. I skipped one, got to zero. Um, low pass filter, check, 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 check. And then we come to the attitude mode and basically it's kind of like a distortion box that you could add in. And of course it adds gain too, so you'll hear a gain difference. But in trio mode, as I do this, you could hear it's almost like a little bit of a distortion compression that's happening. Um, and uh, it gets a little bit toasty. Uh, since it's just my voice, you're probably not hearing a lot of toasty, but you could definitely hear a gain difference as it goes through. Um, and then we go into pentode. Um, you could definitely hear that it's a lot more gain and a lot more distortion that's happening. Um, so we kind of find that, uh, you know, for any kind of instrument that you want to use, that um, this just gives it a little flavor and uh, adds a little edge and a little cut through on certain things. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, even just the bass lift area, adding a little bit of meat to uh, something that you got going on. So I've been very impressed with this unit and um, definitely will be uh, keeping one in the arsenal for myself. For more information, visit purewaveaudio.com and feel free to call us or email us.